Hello, second grade. This is Mr. Martin here, coming to you from my living room. I te usually teach at SBC 1. And today we're going to play a bit of meter tag. For those of you who might be unfamiliar with meter tag, meter tag is just like regular tag. You're trying to tag other people to make them it, except you can only move on the strong beats. We took, we've been talking in music about meter, and meter tells us whether we're in three, we have three beats in a measure, or, in, or four, four beats in a measure. When you're in four, your strong beats are beat one, beat three. Beat two and four are weak, so it might sound like this. You have beat one, which is strong, beat two, beat three, four. So then together you're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you have beats one and beat, beat three be really strong. When you're in three though, only beat one is strong. So you'll only have one and then two, three. So one, two, three, one, Depending on the pattern, depending on the pattern, you can only move on those strong beats. If you if you choose to move or take a step on those on beats that are not strong on the weak beats, that's cheating. That's not okay. This is for the tagger can only move on the strong beats, and the people running away from the tagger can only move on the strong beats. Now I'm going to encourage you before you try to play this in your own apartment or house, you need to make sure you have a clear space to play. You're not going to knock anything over or hurt anything in your apartment or hurt anybody. So make sure you clear enough space for you to move around. If you don't have anybody to play with you, like I'm here by myself, you don't have anyone to play with you, then you can practice. You can practice. You can play in your room. You can move around um, to the to the to the strong beats and maybe tag your tag your bed, then tag your tag your closet, then tag the kitchen, or you can just move around your apartment to the strong beats throughout throughout the day. So I'm going to play some patterns for you guys in three or in four if you want to play with someone around you. If you want to play on your own without me, all you need is two sounds. You just need a strong sound and a weak sound. For example, I have a pencil and I have a table. I'm going to tap that pencil against the table like this. That's going to be my strong sound. Then I have another hand. I'm going to pat my leg like this for my weak sound. So I can go. Or. And you can hear strong sounds and weak sounds. So if you don't, so you don't have a drum at home like I do, that's okay. You can play with just, you can play with two, just two sounds, a strong sound and a weak sound. Cool. Now, if you'd like to play meter tag with some people around you, decide who is it. I'm gonna play a couple patterns for you guys, and you can just rewind the video as many times as you want to keep, keep playing. First, we're gonna play. First, we're gonna be in four, in four. So think what strong beats those are. When you're in four, you have two strong beats. It's beat one and beat three. Only move on those beats. That's it. I'm going to start slow. Then we're going to stop and then we're going to try a little faster. So here we go. You're frozen. One, two, ready, and one. So we're going to do four again, except this time it's going to be a little faster. Remember, if you're if you're moving around to your apartment, make sure you're moving carefully. Don't want to knock anything over or hurt anybody or anything. If you're by yourself, challenge yourself to try to move around in your daily life, only moving to those strong beats. Make it a little more interesting. So here's four. We're in four again, going a little faster. Ready? Everyone's frozen. Here we go. One, two, ready, and one, two, three. So now we're going to go into three. So this time there's only one strong beat per measure. It's only beat one. That's it. So you can only move on beat one. So you can only go one, one. Got it? Okay, everyone freeze. Know who's it? Here we go. In three. Slow the first time. Be careful. Don't hurt anything in your apartments. Ready? One, two, ready, and one. One 
more time. This time it's going to be in three and it's going to be a little faster. Still be careful. Still be careful. Don't bump anything over. There we go. In three, a little faster. One, two, ready, and. So now if you like a particular one of those meters and tempos, you can go back and rewind that part to continue playing it as much as you would like. Um, again, I challenge you guys to find two sounds in your in your home, one strong and one weak, and experiment with some different sounds, and you can figure those patterns yourself. So then you don't have to depend on me, you can just keep playing as long as you want. If you're by yourself and there's no brothers and sisters or parents who want to play, that's okay. You can play by yourself, challenging yourself to move to move around and do things in your daily in your daily life only to those strong beats. It can make it extra interesting and make you really focus on when you're moving and how careful you're moving. For example, think about how much harder it would be to make a sandwich, but only moving on beat one and beat three. Every other time you have to freeze. It'd be kind of fun, it's kind of hard. Maybe you want to try that. Um, Keep an eye out for, for more videos of coming out with more games. Remember, with these extra enrichment videos, you're welcome to watch more than just me. If you're my scholars, you can look at the other music scholars, other music teachers, sorry, and the other fitness and art teachers as well. Okay. Thank you, guys. Hope you had fun.